Hello, hello, hello. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Online Tutoring. It's Victor here with VE Universe. Question of the day. As a content creator, be it a YouTuber or you have a blog, how do you drive traffic to your content? I'd like to know. Please leave me a comment down below. Today, I'm going to be talking about adding social media icons. So you have Twitter, Instagram, Facebook to your YouTube custom channel ad or custom channel banner. So in this video, we'll talk about creating a path between YouTube and all the different social media platforms. So let's get started. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe and press the bell button to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Yeah, I just want to say this. Probably those of you who are content creator will reckon with me. Do you agree that YouTube as a content creator is an online business? Is it a yes or is it a no? Leave me a comment down below. We all know as a content creator with YouTube, there are two ways that you're making money. You're making money from Google AdSense, which means Google you know, which now owns YouTube, will run some ads on your channel. As, as well as you also make money from views or subscription. So at the end of the day, if you are a YouTuber or you're a content creator on YouTube, it's kind of an online business. So now how do you now get audience to your YouTube? If you want to run more ads and make more money from ads, on your channel, you need to have audience. You need to have people coming into your audience. You know, online business or even YouTube as a content creator, it's not like a tangible business. Like you will go to a restaurant or a boutique where you go in and you buy merchandise and leave. Then you can drive in and go out. With online business, you need audience. And how do the audience come in? They come in as a result of passing through a path. So you create a path between your platform with other social media platforms. In the IT world or in engineering, they call it a handshake. So two platforms talk together. So in this video, we're going to talk about um, the custom banner and adding those icons. So now I'm just going to go over to a typical banner. When you go to a YouTube homepage, this is how it looks. You can either choose the generic that YouTube automatically give you or you customize the banner. When I talk about customizing, I'm talking about you say you have um, like, I can show mine here. Hey, by the way, if it's your first time in this, uh, in my, if it's the first time here, please consider subscribing. And the way you subscribe is just press the red button and then it also gives you an option to press the notification so you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So now let's head over to, to my YouTube homepage. So this is my YouTube homepage. I have customized the banner. It says, Welcome to VA Universe. And you can see I have all these social media icons, which means your YouTube homepage is a one-stop shop. So one-stop and everyone can come in here and link to you with all the different platforms. The reason I'm saying that is because if you go to somebody's homepage on YouTube and when you subscribe to them, sometimes you look around and you also want to subscribe, follow them on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. But if you realize that, I'll give you a typical example. No disrespect, I don't know, these are people that I've subscribed to. But if you come to a banner like this, it doesn't give you any link to connect to any other social media. Uh, same here, you go down, it doesn't give you any option. Uh, same here, another one, Travel Sri Lanka, it doesn't give you an option. This is the generic banner. But look, what about if we go to Vera Tunes? See what happens. It is custom and you can click. She has an Instagram icon. You click on it, it takes you to an Instagram you can now connect with her, which means you are building that relationship back and forth. So nice photos here. And similarly, if we go to, let's say, Jose Rico Suave. Okay, this is a good one. He has a Twitter, Instagram. So when you click on it, it now takes you to Twitter. And then what happened? 
you follow him on Twitter. Okay, you're already following him. So, yeah. So, that's what I mean by linking them because that's how they come into your platform and that's how you also go to their platform. So, let's go to doing what exactly I wanted us to do. <clears throat> so, by the way, I'm going to go back to that home page, which is what we have. So, first of all, for you to customize or add the social media icon, I assume you already have a custom banner. If you don't have a custom banner, you can, um, you know, design a custom banner by using PicMonkey or Canva. If you, if you can do it, good. If you cannot, you can outsource it to some, you know, freelance website like Fever, which they will charge you between ten to twenty dollars. If still you still cannot, or for some reason, then you can just hop over to my blog site. When you come over to my blog site, just go to contact us, send me a message and say, oh, Victor, I don't know how to design a custom banner. Can you help me out? So, you know, on my free time, I can, uh, you know, design that for you for a limited time only. So now let's go back here. So what we do, if you want to add the custom banner and then add the social media icon, you go to customize channel. When you customize channel, when you hover on the top right side, right here, you see this small icon, you click on it, it now gives you two options. It gives you edit channel add, which is the banner. You can come in. I already have one designed already for this particular channel. I will go in and select it. So click on it. It now takes you to the desktop. I will search for... Uh, v word is what I'm searching for. Okay, here I have an official banner and I will select it. So it takes a couple of seconds to load. Okay, so now it's fully loaded and you press select and see what happens. It's saving it. Voila. So that's a custom channel ad or a custom banner. So now you have news, politics, health, and fitness. So when someone comes to your homepage, they look at your homepage, they know exactly what's your niche. They don't have to be, you know, going around the bush like, oh, what is he or she talking about? They know if I go into this channel, it's news, politics, health, and fitness. Oh, that's a lot of niche, for niche. Okay, so now let's go over to what I was talking about, adding those icons. I'll move the page a little bit. I have my note here. I will start with Twitter. So I'm going to copy the Twitter URL, which is Uniform Resource Locator, your N address. And then I'll come back here. I'll go back up. And now I will edit links. When you edit links, it brings you down to a custom link, another page. When you look right down below, it gives you, you can, you can customize or you can add up to five links. So we go with link number one. I'll add it here and it asks for the URL. The URL, I'll put it in. It's Twitter. I'll just say, okay, Twitter, TW, and see what happens. I'll click done. It automatically finds Twitter. And then I will try to edit it, or maybe it doesn't find Twitter that way. I'll write the complete Twitter. Okay. And then I'll add the second one. I'll go back and copy now Instagram. I'll come back here. The second URL is Instagram. Okay, make sure you copy it right. I will just put IG. Uh, the next, I will go to Facebook. Copy it here. And add, add the URL. Make sure it's good in. And then I will go with FB. And once you add that on, what happened is that the face, the YouTube algorithm is smart enough to be able to 
pick it up and knows that this URL belongs to Facebook, this is for Instagram, and that's for Twitter. So now, let me click on Done. Okay, so you can now see everything looks good. So now I will go back. I will go back to my channel. And voila! So now you have Twitter icon, you have Instagram, you have Facebook. So you've actually converted the home page as a one shop where you can connect with all the different social media icons. And once you use that to, to follow somebody, uh, normally what I do is if I go to someone, let's say I go to someone who already have this icon, when I subscribe to them, I might you know drop them a message that I will also follow you on the other social media platform. So in that case, they see a strange name or a strange, you know, person following them. They will remember, it will flash to their head that, oh, this guy told me that they will follow me. So just like a recap, it's not like a follow to follow, but, you know, once I follow someone, I probably let you know. So once you do this, everyone who comes in, instead of, say, you come to someone's page and you don't know what's their niche, and let's say you subscribe to them and you like their content and you want to follow them on Instagram and Twitter. Now you start doing trial by error. You copy the name and you go to Instagram and you try to search. If it doesn't come up, you try to search again. If it doesn't come up, you know, it kind of, so that's, it's good. You have, just like you see in my Twitter here, I have the same banner that I also have on my blog. You know, so you try to make it uniform, and once you have those icons, it's easy for someone to follow you. And by the way, when someone follows you, it comes back to you, and that's how you drive traffic, and that's how you build your YouTube content creator, and that's how you have more people coming to your YouTube. You get more ads revenue, you get more subscriptions. So that's, um, that's the message for today. So again, if you find this video valuable, please subscribe comment down below um, you know leave me a comment if you have any other ways different ways that you drive people to your youtube channel again if you're here for the first time consider subscribing press the bell button to be notified anytime i upload a new video i normally upload video once a week and it's on investment world business technical concept and also sports predominantly golf. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.